If you've ever wanted to use your iPad as a surface to control effects for your music, we'll show you how with this short tutorial. To get started, you'll need your Mac and iPad, a cable to connect your devices, and StageCraft Software's XYFX plugin Disarray. To use your iPad as a controller for Disarray, you need to download a MIDI control app on your iPad, which will translate your touches into motion within the plugin. The app needs to send three types of information to work properly. An X message, a Y message, and a message for touch to know when you're dragging. While there are some options for MIDI control apps on the App Store, note that some will not work because they don't send all this information. Our recommendation is an app called Skyme, which is affordable, easy to use, and has everything you need to work smoothly with Disarray. But whichever app you use, as long as it can send separate MIDI messages, linking it to Disarray is mostly the same process. If you're not sure whether your specific app will work or not, we'll show you how to check in the next couple steps. To send the touch information from your iPad to your Mac, we'll grab our connection cable from earlier, We'll connect it to our iPad, and then our Mac. On the Mac, open an app called Audio MIDI Setup. Here you have a list of all your audio devices, like your speakers, and at the bottom your iPad listed as a device. If you don't see it here, make sure that your iPad isn't locked, as this may be stopping a data connection. Clicking the Enable toggle here will allow the iPad to send MIDI messages. If you weren't sure earlier if your app would work, we can confirm now using a small utility called MIDI Monitor by Snoise. This is a simple Mac application that you can download for free on Snoise's website, which I will leave a link to down below. When you launch it, you'll see an output prompt, which will probably be filled with a bunch of messages already. We need to filter this to get only the messages we need, so let's first confirm that the iPad is the only MIDI source being monitored. And uncheck these so just voice messages remain. Once you do that, you can clear the messages. When you tap or drag on the iPad with your app, you should see a bunch of messages on the monitor's output. You can see that we have Control, Note On, and Note Off, which represent the data being sent when you use your iPad. If you see messages like this, then you can move on to the next step. If your app only sends one message like Control no matter what you do, then unfortunately you have to find a different app, as this one won't send the necessary information to work with this array. At this point we just need to set up our DAW, in this case Ableton Live, to receive the messages. First, go into your DAW settings and look at the section containing MIDI devices. Here you should see your iPad listed. Arm a MIDI track and see if any signal comes through when you touch your iPad. If you don't see any response, check that the MIDI channel is accepting MIDI, either from just your iPad or all ends. Since this array is an effects pad, you'll probably be using it to affect some audio rather than load it into its own MIDI track like an instrument. To do this, we need to create an additional audio track Load Disarray there instead of the MIDI track. Then route the MIDI to that audio track. Now the last step, setting up Disarray to hear the MIDI messages. After firing up Disarray, we'll go to the Mix tab to find the X, Y, and Enable parameters at the bottom, which we can right-click to MIDI Learn. Disarray will register the first MIDI message it hears, so it really helps at this point if your app can send separate MIDI messages. In the settings of the app I mentioned earlier, Skyme, you can individually set an X, Y, and Note message, which is exactly what we need for this setup. If your app can't send individual messages, you can still try to link it, but it may take a couple tries before it gets it right. All you have to do is MIDI learn every parameter by right-clicking and sending the right message from your iPad. So, XCC for the X parameter, YCC for the Y parameter, and Note for the on-off toggle. If everything has been correct up until this point, but Disarray Ableton isn't registering some of the messages, try changing the MIDI channel of the iPad app to 1 and try again. Afterwards, you should be able to control Disarray correctly with your iPad app. And that's it. It's really fun controlling all the different effects with your own hands, and will level up your productions with much tighter expression. For more StageCraft tutorials, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.